Hi everybody, Bob Gager from Adobe here with another installment of Ask Bob, where I get to answer questions posed by our Facebook fans. Today's question comes from Karen, and Karen wants to know how to get rid of a double chin in a photo. Well Karen, that's pretty straightforward in Photoshop Elements. We're going to use a technique called a levels adjustment layer to paint in a shadow so that the double chin is just hidden by being down in the shadow. So we start off by actually creating that adjustment layer. Over here on the right hand side, this is our layers panel. If it's not showing for you, just click this layers button right here. Right? If we click, we can toggle our layer panel on and off. So make sure your layers panel is showing. Uh, also double check to make sure you're in expert mode because that's where you'll find it. Then come up all the way to the top of the layers panel. This icon right here is how we create a new adjustment layer. Go ahead and click on that and select levels. That's going to create a new layer in our layers panel above our background layer and it's going to create a new levels adjustment layer. The levels adjustment layer lets us adjust shadows, it lets us adjust highlights, and most importantly for this technique it lets us adjust midtones. So this little gray triangle here is how we're going to adjust our midtones. Just click and drag that gray triangle up a little bit you don't want to go too far, although you can always change it later. But you drag it up to darken the midtones. And I'm going to kind of go to a little bit of an extreme right now, and we'll come back later and change it. But I'm going to drag that up, and then I'm going to go ahead and close my Levels Adjustment panel by clicking on the X. So we've got this layer. This is a Levels Adjustment layer. And the way it works is that any changes we make to this layer affect any layer below it. So you can see we've darkened your entire photo by having this levels adjustment layer on top of it. If I want to see the original photo, this little eyeball here lets me hide any particular layer, so I just click on it to hide it. There's your original photo. Click on it again to show this levels adjustment layer, and then we can see the result over here on the main window. So now what we want to do is control just exactly where that adjustment is made. Right now it's being done to your entire photo. We just want to darken up the double chin area. And the way we do that is with painting on the layer mask. This little square right here as part of that layer is something called a layer mask. Wherever there's white on a layer mask, that layer is showing. Wherever there's black on a layer mask, that layer is hidden. So as an example, if I wanted to hide that adjustment up here in the top right corner, I would just grab my brush over here on the left. I'd grab my brush tool, make sure my foreground color is set to black, and then just come and paint somewhere. So you can see as I paint with my black brush on the layer mask, I'm removing that effect. If instead I paint with white, I bring that effect back. So I can control just exactly where that effect is being applied by painting either black or white on top of my layer mask. So first off, we want it black everywhere because we don't want the effect on your whole photo, we just want to put it on very specific parts. And the easiest way to do that is to just select my layer mask by clicking on it, coming up to the filter menu, going to adjust, and selecting invert. And that's going to turn everything that's white to black. And now this layer is completely hidden, not because we turned it off with the eyeball, but because we painted black in the layer mask. So now let's zoom in a little bit, kind of to where we want to make the change. Again, click on our layer mask to make sure it's selected. Pick our brush. And now we want to paint with white because wherever we're painting with white, that effect is going to be applied. So our brush is a little big right now. To do this, we really want a fairly uh, soft brush. So make sure you uh, pick a soft brush, go to your brush menu, and find one that looks kind of like this. Double click it to select it. And then what I usually do is turn the opacity of the brush way down. It means I have to paint a little more, but it's also very forgiving that way. So just turn that way down. We can close our tool options now. Oh, our brush is a little big. We want to make it smaller. You can either control the size of your brush with the slider here, or what I usually do is use the left bracket key on my keyboard to make it smaller, or the right bracket key to make it bigger. That's a keyboard shortcut that uh, you'll find very handy as you start to use brushes. So let's hide our tool options, get our brush about the right size, something like that maybe, and just start painting a shadow in over the double chin. 
So something like that. I can let go of my mouse and paint again if I want it a little darker. We maybe want to hide that, maybe even way down there. So a little bit of painting of uh, that brighter double chin area. Now you see it's kind of dark, right? That's not an effect that I want. So if I come back over here to my layer mask, this little histogram picture here, if I double click on that, my levels control panel will open up and I can grab that gray triangle and adjust just exactly how dark or how bright I want that area that I just painted. So slide that around until it looks kind of natural and just something like that. Go ahead and close my levels adjustment and we've fixed the double chin. If I hide that adjustment layer again by clicking on this little eyeball, that was the before and that was the after. Uh, let's do another quick uh, painting over here again. Click on our layers mask, get our brush, make sure we have a nice soft white brush and just paint in a little bit to add some shadow underneath our chin. And simple as that. Uh, let me double click my magnifying glass uh, to get a one for one presentation of my photo. So there is the before and there is the after. Just by adding a little bit of shadow under our chins, uh, we can get rid of that double chin. Hope that helps, Karen. And thanks for asking the question. Take care.